have you torn this place into? What is wrong with you? Madam, all you need is rest. And the nurses are here to assist you. What I'm invariably trying to say is that you will have to spend at least seven days here. Seven days? Hey, baby. Doctor, please, I'm fine. I don't want to stay here. I'll be better off at home. Please. If you insist, but that will be upon the condition that you will assure me that you will stay away from all kinds of stress. Physical stress, mental stress, no house chores. Yes, yes, doctor, definitely. All right then, she will discharge today. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Baby. Why did you refuse to stay? I mean, with the way I work, I won't be able to take care of you. Look at what Zico's carelessness has caused. I mean, who knows what will happen next? We have to be optimistic. Everything will be fine. Okay? Darling, don't you think we should get a house help? Come on, you know how I feel about those things. If only your mother was around, she went to look at the father for home. Or your sister, she, she too, she's gone for your service. But what about if I call my mother? I'm sure I can convince her to come and stay for at least two weeks. Mama? Yeah. Yes, that's a great idea. Thank you, honey. You're the best. I love you. I love you. Just rest, okay? Keep this. I can see. So you're lying down here. You couldn't even come and open the door for me. I traveled all the way from the village to come and see you. Not even standing up to come and welcome me. Mama, I'm sorry about that. I'm actually on bed rest. You see, the doctor advised that I rest for at least seven days. That's why. Eh? So you were carried in, into this place in an ambulance or a stretcher. That if you get off from there to welcome me, your baby will fall off from your womb. Mama, it's not even like. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, baby? 
glass of orange juice. No, no, baby, I don't want this. I want mixed fruits. Please. You want mixed fruit? Alright. One glass of this. Thank you, my love. Mama. <laughs> How are you? something nice for you. Should I serve you now? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Let me get it for you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ah. Hey, baby. Hey. You're back. My love. Uh, hey. How are you? I'm good. You're good? As good as I can be. Mm. Can be. <laughs> How was your day today? My day was uh, wonderful. Oh, uh, okay. Have you eaten something? Oh, baby, I don't want to eat at home today. I want to go out to eat. Oh, I just asked mom to bring my food. Mm. It's okay. Go and change, and I'll inform her that we're going out. Okay. All right. You do that. What do you want to wear? Oh no, I have to change. <laughs> All right, then. Go on in. <laughs> Thank mm, you. Mm. My fine wife. Mm. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Mama. Mama? Yes? Um, my wife wants to eat outside, so I'll be taking her out. Thank you, eh?
What are you both staring at? You see this one ghost? The lady, do you see a ghost? No, Mama. Come inside now, let's go. Very soon, you're going to be growing into a very beautiful woman like me. Yes, Grandma. Yeah. And when you grow into that woman, you're going to marry in the husband. And when you marry that your handsome husband, eh? Be submissive to him. Don't send him on errands like your mother does to your father. Order him all over the place, calling him baby, baby, baby. Do you know what it means? When a woman calls her husband baby, that means she does not have one single respect for her husband. In fact, she sees the husband as her child. In the Bible, Sarah called her husband my lord. Do you know what it means? You go to school, you know what they say? My lord. All right? Do you hear me? And when you marry, that's your handsome husband. Worship him like your God. Because he is the owner of your head. Because the Bible says that man is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. I love talking to you because you have sense like your grandmother. One more thing. When you see something wrong and don't talk about it, you are the one committing sin. It is evil. It is very wrong. Anytime you see your mother doing something wrong, quickly caution her. Don't give her space. All right? This girl has sense like her grandmother. In my opinion, you have a mom. Also known as fall in North American English, is one of the four temperate seasons. Autumn marks the transition from summer to winter in September or March, when the duration of daylight becomes noticeable, shorter, and the temperature cools down considerably. Great. So, what other seasons did you just mention? Winter. Mm hmm. And summer. Great, awesome. So tell me, what's your favorite season? Summer. Summer, right? Me too, darling. Summer. <laughs> Honey, that's about the time you'll be giving birth. Yes, darling. Yeah, I would like you to go to the States to have the kid. What? No. No, it's going to be very stressful for me. Moreover, there is no one to take care of me and the baby after delivery. Yeah, but my cousin, she lives in the States. She will take care of you. She'll help you. I know that, but I would very much prefer to have the baby here. Where I have my own baby, where I have you. Yeah, but you should not be arguing with that. It's not right. Let's go to the Bible. The Bible is against that. And I cannot sit down here and watch it happen. A woman should be under a man, not the other way around. Do you know a better school that we could send Zico to? What? School? Why? Why do you want her to change school? Obviously what happened last night was a result of bad schooling. That is what they're teaching her. I'm not happy with the way she spoke to us mannerlessly yesterday. It's unacceptable. And it got me thinking. 
apart from school, she comes straight back home. She doesn't keep friends. So the only place she could have learned that was at school. <sighs> Babe, don't you worry. I'll talk to her as a mother and I'll find out where this is coming from. Let's also not rule out influence from peers. Hmm? Okay. I will see you later. Oh, you ready to go now? Mm. Hi. Right. I love you. I love you too. Ice cream from cold. Earth are they not here yet? Oh, well, it's just 7 a.m. I'm sure they'll be here before 7 20. Sweetheart, come sit down. Mommy wants to talk to you. Your daddy and I have decided to change your school. Mom, why? I love my school, my friends, my teacher. Mom, please don't change. My school. I know, darling, but you're learning bad things from that school. How to disrespect your parents? Even talk back when they are talking. It was very rude of you to have bashed in on your daddy and I. And we believe you learned that from school. No, I didn't learn from school. It's grandma that taught me. She said I should speak up whenever you and dad are arguing. That is a sin not to speak up when I see evil. Sweetheart, the boss is here. You should go to school. We'll talk more when you come back. Mom, I hope I'm not changing school. Don't worry, it's cool. You're not. Take care of yourself, okay? I'm not happy. Okay? She's just a child. And you're teaching her to be disrespectful to her parents. I mean, Mama, why? Why? I mean, I'm disappointed. I was took her out of school because I thought that she was learning from her school. Remember, she was learning from my grandmother. I mean, I can't believe it. Don't you dare shout at me. You just don't shout at me, your mother. Huh? What is the argument? Is it because I'm the giving quiet around this house? That is what both of you are doing. Misbehaving around here. How can you do? Hey! I'm not going to talk to you. Ah, I saw this coming. I knew she was going to send you. Look at you. If you go mad, you are like a woman you paid her bride price to use you, use you like a woman. Ordering you around like a baby. She's calling you a baby and you're busy babying around like a fool. Ah. How can you notice me again in this house? Even to buy me suya, can't I have a chair for both? No. No attention, no love, no nothing. How can you do all that so soon? How could you have to do that for me? Stupid wife! Don't you dare to me. It was that girl. You open your mouth. 
herself teaching her bad things. I didn't teach her those bad things when she was staying with me. It is now she's staying with you, but stupid parents that are teaching her the bad things. Let me ask you, where was that your useless, miserable wife when you were dying of giving to baby? Rejected and abandoned. Left by all those your friends. If you be beautiful, gallant, wonderful girlfriends. I was the only one. And I've always been the only one that stays around whenever that person has left you. And the winter, one of my kidneys, my life, I gave to you. All because of your mother's direct love for her child. No. Hey. What do you want to eat? I made you white rice and pepper soup. You, re you rejected it. Okay. Drink the ordinary pepper soup so that you can have something in your stomach. That you have kidney failure does not mean you are dead already. Huh. You are my only surviving male child. I can't watch you die. Never. Tell me what you want, oh one Biko. Please. No. Where have you been? For the past five days, we were looking for you. You are nowhere to be found. You couldn't even pick your calls. Uh, I'm sorry, Mama. It's work pressure. I've been very busy at work. And I had to sneak to come and see him. I'm sorry, please. You said busy. You are busy to come and check on your so called fiance, your husband to be. You are busy. Oh, Mama, what would you have me do? I'm not a doctor. And I'm not God. He has kidney problem. There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing you can do, Trisha. He needs a doctor. We are looking for a doctor. Come with me to the hospital. Let's run check from you. I see if your kidney will match it. He did donate to area. Go and end. Let him live again. Yes! Uh, uh, no, no, How can you say that? I, 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 I'm not God. I try to look like Jesus. I, I'm not married to him. Even if I was married to him, I could leave my life down for another. I'm not Jesus. Oh, please, Mama. If you say something else, if there's any other way I can help, I'll be glad to. What's going on? Get out! I can't leave my life down for anyone. I don't need to try to change anything. Please, Mama. 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 Seven days bed rest expired 6 a.m. this morning. And mine just begun. Mine is not just going to be for seven days. It's going to last for as long as I want. Because I am here to take a rest. You see, I've suffered a lot all my life. I need you people to take care of me now, especially you. So quickly, go and make my breakfast, oh? It's okay, Mama, that's fine. I'll make you something. Mm hmm It's good when we understand ourselves.
Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm cool. All right, I'm on my way home now. Could you please tell Mama to take me something to eat? I am very hungry. Oh, baby, not to worry. I'll, I'll prepare the food myself. Ah, uh, come on, baby. You know what the doctor said about your health. Baby, I know. I'm fine now. I'll prepare the food myself. You can bring yourself back home. I'm expecting you. Okay. Goodbye. Eh? See you soon. Preparing Mama's food now. You just prepared Mama's food now. Didn't you see me yet since morning? Why didn't you serve me first? As soon as you saw your husband come into this place, you quickly served him. I service. Meanwhile, I've been with you all morning. No food for me. This is your husband, your baby now. He is my child. Before he was your husband, my son. I gave birth to him from my womb. I gave him one of my kids. Can you do this kind of thing to your daughter? Why would you, you do that? You are the 
evil one. And nonsense. Go and ask her. Me, Patricia. Elevate every nonsense about me accordingly. Baba. Baba. Look at that tears. Nana. Nana. I go to me. You will not give me food in my own son's house. You want to be to God. So, where can you give me for? Go and put me to God. Tell him. I said, you will move from this house. I pulled away the pot of soup. Come and beat me. Come and beat me, Laura. Not only this, you will fear. Maybe Mama has refused to see anything wrong in what she does. If you try to call her out or reason with her, she will tell you that, that she's the least life giver. <laughs> Not just with you. Even you. I housed you. I raised your daughter's car. What have, let me ask you. When were you when this your baby had kidney failure? Where were you? Mama, what are you saying? It's all your son's fault. He got me pregnant when I was young. I was naive. I just finished secondary school. What, what, what are you saying, Mama? I was sent out from home. And then he cut off our relationship. I carry the baby because of the love I have for him. For your son. Yes, yes, I agree that you housed me during the pregnancy. But then what happened after childbirth? Huh? He abandoned me and followed his numerous girlfriends. Because he felt they were worthier than me. And then what happened when he came back? Huh? I still receive him with open arms. Don't you stop this now, okay? It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay, baby. All these things are happening because you refuse to tell Mama that she's wrong. <laughs> then they call a spade a spade. You know what? Since Mama cannot share her love for you with anyone else, why don't you guys start making babies? Anytime you want to build a house, you first of all build a fence. Do you know what it means? Fence means protection. It's a security against intruders. So build, let me see. And these toys we make children wake up one morning, pick a gun, and shoot their parents. But see, you see, sand, this is our root. It makes children like this to know where we come from. Did you ever play with sand? Make sure that it's going to start to watch cartoons or play with toys again. And I will personally tell her folk tales so that she will be in tune with her values and culture. Yeah. 
Now what is the meaning of this? Is it not to cook my son? I need a favorite dish. Eh? Vegetable and a lot of onions. Look at it. You will enjoy it. So eat. You see, from now, stop eating all this junk. I'll make sure you eat all the food as long as I'm here. So you enjoy it. Mm. Eat now. Eat now. Eat food. You know what? I'll do so. So you enjoy it. I'm eating your own and I don't. Baby. I just eat food in my hair. You fool bitch. You just eat food. You just came back from work. You should make it not to eat. You could hear me eat. Read out the question. Okay. Divide 25,000 by 15. Mm hmm. Ebi and I'm, we'll count the stones. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Mm -hmm. See, this mathematics is very easy. Now, divide this 25,000 with 50. But, Grandma, the stones are only 25, not 25,000. Shut up. As long as there is 25 there, it is 25,000. So, divide it by, 25, by 50. Do it now, or you think you're better than me? No, Grandma. It, it's just, it's just that this, it's just, it's just Shut that. Up. Zikora, I told you not to argue with your elders. I'm an elder here, and my word is final. So do what I just told you. Grandma, hmm? did you just fight? Zikora. When an elder fats, just tell the elder, God bless you. I said, just fit head now. Tell me, Grandma, God bless you. Say it. Grandma, oh, God bless you. Mm hmm. I think. hundred naira and buy something for yourself. Oh, mom. Mama, please, there is no need for that. Everything she needs is inside her lunchbox. Does that mean she cannot buy puff puff for herself? Mama, it's of no use. There is no place to buy anything in their school. Which means they don't have canteen. So you could see, any school that does not have canteen is not what it is called a school. Mom, please. My school bus is waiting for me. Alright, darling. Have a great day. Come on, mom. Hey, come here. Yes, speaking. Oh. Wow. I am um, I'm sorry to hear that, madam. I promise I'll sort it out. 
Thank you for calling. This is unbelievable. The whole work I helped you to do yesterday. Yes, Grandma, it is. I want you to mark everything down like this. Is that is that you don't know anything? Your mother sent you to a wrong school. But Grandma, I told you that all your answers were wrong. Shut your mouth. Always say anything like that. You know, I know something. I know book. That's your teacher. You think like your mother. You don't know anything. Your mother sent you to a very bad school. Zico, you're back. Yes, mommy, be that too. How was school today? It was fine. Oh, that's great. Let me see your homework then. Um, oh. Zico, what is this? You failed everything. What is this? Why can't you ask me for help with your homework? But mom, Grandma helps me. Can you see? Can you see this? Zero! Zero everywhere! Zero by 42! So, from this day, my last week is one. Oh, you be the one helping her. What would I be doing in this house? Eh? It is all your fault. You sent her to a school where they just think you. Empty, but don't know anything. How can you send a child to a school that does not have canteen? Any child school that does not have canteen is not worthy to be called a school. Yes. Look at this girl. It's all the time. She's going to put on her brush her. She's going to a fashion parade instead of a school. Why don't you bring wig and put on her head so that it will make more sense? Zico. That's it. You just go inside, track it up, and then come back here. You hear me? This will be the last. What oh, rubbish? We send you to primary school, and this is what you come back with. Zero over 42. What is this? I'm going to have this in my house. And hurry up. Maybe Zico's teacher called me today. She was talking about Zico's performance. And what about it? Well, she says Zico performs poorly with her homework. Why is that? Haven't you been helping her with her homework? Baby, Mama took over literally everything. I no longer see Zico. I no longer see my daughter. Whenever she comes back from school, she will be inside Mama's room till the next morning. And it's really affecting her education. Even me too is stressing me out. No, I'm not finished. I'm not finished, baby. Mama doesn't see anything good in what I do. Everything Laura does is bad to her. It's really stressing me out. All right, baby, please. Okay? Just leave Mama and her trouble. Just ignore her, please. She will soon leave. And I feel sick. I mean, I can't stop her from going to see her grandmother in her room. She grew up with her. She is used to her. She's used to her, you say? So my daughter should now suffer because of mama? Or I should die because of mama? Huh? Baby, this... Her ignorance is affecting your daughter. And it's... You know what? There's no need talking to you about it because of course we all know you're not going to do anything.
Your big tummy too. My dear, I just, I want to get something from the next street. Oh, okay. let's go. Oh, no, no, no. You just go and freshen up. I'll be right back. Are you sure? Go on. Okay. house. Jenny, my sister, what can I do? A lot of things have been happening in this house that you can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And you're keeping quiet about it. Okay, what about your husband? What is he doing about it? <laughs> That's one. He's the cause of everything now. He's so lily livered and chicken hearted that he can't stand up to his mother. Oh, this is serious. But wait, I thought Mama came here because of the accident. Now that you are fine, why has she not left already? My dear, Mama has refused to leave. She has simply refused to leave this house. According to her, she will leave only when she wants to. She said this is trouble. She will only leave when she wants to. This is trouble. In this your condition, this 
this situation is not safe for you at all. You guys have to do something about this. What can I do? Pray tell me what can I do when my husband, the head of this house, has refused to do nothing. What is it that I can do? There has to be something you can do. I mean, I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> it's cool. So your place of posting ad, if I meet. Well, it's cool. Mm. It's okay, yeah. What subject are you going to teach you? English. Ah! <laughs> I wish they gave me English to teach mm. Oh. <laughs> Mama, welcome. Good day, ma. Who are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Chris, my. Hey! Hey! Janet! Janet! So it has gotten to the extent where you now bring your boyfriend to this house. This is Chris, my fellow youth for me. Are you dead? I said leave! Are you dead? This is my son's house. This is my son's house. Get me out of what? Mama, let me tell you. Mama, is it your house? 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 Yes, I'm in my son's house. I'm in your own son's house. Please, please, She was embarrassing you back there. Even at that, it is so disrespectful. And she's old enough to be your mother. And she's your sister's mother anymore. So you have no right to talk to her that way. And if it was between her and your mother, they could shout at each other as much as they want. Sorry for that embarrassment. Honestly, I'm so 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 please. My apologies. Okay. It's okay, I understand. I'll take my leave. Alright. See you some other time, okay? Bye. Thanks for coming around. straight to the village. She'll be coming directly to this place. No. No. You'll be asking for more trouble. What are you saying, Jenny? There is no possibility of our mom and my mother-in-law staying under the same roof. Okay, no. so what do you want to do? You want to drive your own mother out of your house? Break a record? Something your husband has not been able to do to his own mother. Really? <laughs> Let me watch you do that. Good luck. In the meantime, she's coming. Your mother-in-law thinks she is crazy, right? She's about to see grace in a whole new dimension. <laughs> anyway, I was reading a book before I came here. Let me go finish it up. Jenny, why would you make this decision in the first place without consulting me? 
Don't you bring this house down? So it's fine. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> honey. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you too. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Jeez. Someone is getting close to delivery dates. Well. Ah. I'm happy. Your husband is taking care of you. Yes, he is, Mama. He's my first love. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this place is so hot. Is the AC not on? Or uh, is it not working? No, Mama. The AC is not on. The generator is on. That's why. Ah, my. You know, I, I got used to staying on that east in Burkina Faso. Welcome to Nigeria. 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 Welc
not there. Which brother? That one. He has eaten. He's under a spell. Eh? But me, Patricia, I will make sure I neutralize it. Trust me. Mama, me is cool. Mama, it's not possible. I'm getting ready for my exam. Let's read you one again. Which exam, exam is better than your mother's life? Unless you don't want to see me alive tomorrow. If you want to see me alive, come to this house tomorrow morning. Okay, me. Mama, are you serious? Yes. Don't worry, Mama. I don't think I can wait till tomorrow. I'll be there this evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get back here, girl. I'm going to go to the house. I am waiting for you. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Go there. Hey. Hmm. 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 Out here with the blender. Is it not your mother in law? I was using the blender in the kitchen for my tomato, and this woman came in and turned my tomato out and said she wants to use the blender. Why would she do a thing like that? Is she okay? I think you need to go inside there and ask her. How can a normal human being behave like that? Instead of this woman to wait, like a normal human being would, for me to finish using the blender for my tomatoes, this woman turned out my tomatoes. So I seized the blender and I have decided nobody is going to use this blender until I am done. She won't use it, I won't use it. Mama has started again. What is wrong with this woman? What is this? Come, Laura, please, don't stress yourself. Let's go inside, okay? Eh? Yeah? Let's all go inside. Okay. Please. please, you have to get my... I am here now. 
birthday. Thank you very much. So where the party at? Oh, anywhere my wonderful brother-in-law says it is. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have any cash on me. I will transfer 50k into your account later. Oh! Alright? 50k? Yes. Get the Thank you very much. <laughs> get the party started and then I will come and join you guys later. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank just wire back. Wire me your, send me your account details, okay? Okay, thank you very much. I will send this right away. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Three, two, two one. one. Yeah. Yeah.
To a portion blame. I am also not here to say who did the right thing. But I am grossly disappointed in you people's insensitivity towards my wife's delicate condition. If not for the respect I have for all of you, I would have sent you all packing, but I chose to speak to you people first. Point of correction. Which people are you you're talking about? Is it me? Obviously, no. I know you are referring to these fools. Because I cannot be unequally yoked with these nonsense people you brought into this house. Mm -hmm. Did you want your mother? I gave you life twice. One, two, twice. My love, the problem we have in this house is your mother. She wants to control everything. And she sees nothing good in any of us except herself.
Mama. Mama, there is no one in there. The door is locked. I have knocked. I have shouted. No, no one is in there, Mama. I don't know. Mama. Hey. Hi. You don't know. If I knew, would I be asking you? Ha. Huh. This early morning, you are around that kind of five. I got carry back, come out. I help him carry back for moto. But it be like, say, I oh got don't travel. They don't travel. Travel to where?
to me? Yes, I am talking to you. Mayno, what do we do? This situation is killing me. What do we do? Because they are not... has belongs to you. So you should know what to do. You can go ahead and occupy your own space. But you know the only problem I have? My pregnant daughter. I don't know how she's faring. I don't know where she is. That's the only problem I have. So, I don't know what to do. My in law mine is worse. Oh, I am finished. As you're looking at me here, I am finished. Dile is my only son. It's my son. It's my life. Uh, 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 Caesar, my granddaughter. I don't. I can't. I can't talk to them. I don't know where they are. I don't know what to do. I, I want to go home. But I want to still find my son and his family. I can't function without them. I don't have one challenge. I don't have transport for you. I don't know how to go about it. It's your Mama, Mama, Mama. Hmm? Mama, it's brother. It's brother's <laughs> brother. Did you go? Mama. Mama. Hey. Where have you been? What happened? Mama. Is my mother in law still around? Yes, she's here. Everybody's worried about you. She's here. Nothing bad has happened. Please, I want her to be a part of this whole conversation. Okay. Ah, my in-law. You, you people left without saying anything to us. No, no, nobody knows where you are. Mama, that's why I am calling you all. Since you people have decided to turn my house into a battleground, I have decided to leave with my wife, Siko, and my unborn baby. That way, you people can finish yourself without anyone stopping you. Thankfully, I have enough food in the house. No, we're not fighting, we're not fighting anymore. Yes. We're, 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 we're not fighting. We're not fighting. fighting. Yes. There is no need to stop. Every battle must have a winner and a loser. As far as me and my family are concerned, we are happy and safe. In Houston, Texas, where Laura, my wife, will put to bed in due time. So, for now, on behalf of my family, I wish you all victory.
man's family is made up of his wife and children. His parents, his sisters, and brothers are his extended family. 